Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Christina and this is Christy's Kitchen. You might recognize where I'm at. I'm at the beach. Um, this is the beach house that I rented last year where I did a couple of my videos from the last time. Um, so thank you for popping back in. I'm gonna make butternut squash today on this episode of Christy's Kitchen Fine Dining Made Simple. So if you wanna stay tuned, I'll show you how we do it. All right, so as you can see, I've got all my ingredients here. Again, pre-prepping is one of the most important things that you can do. So I'm gonna scoot you guys forward and tilt you down. I got a big pot, okay? This is not little. If you look, that's my hand next to it. That is a big pot and that's what we want. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna put this on high. We're gonna make sure that it, yep, there we go. Gets nice and toasty. And to do this, you wanna get a hot pan. So if you just put your hand inside, I'm not touching the bottom obviously, but if you put it inside, you'll be able to feel when the heat comes off. So I'm gonna leave it like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our fabulous extra virgin olive oil. Let that start toasting up. Just use this to coat the bottom so that way nothing sticks. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna let that get all toasted up. Okay, here we go. Now I've got my spoon, got my spatula. So now we're gonna add, this is just one medium yellow onion. I just peeled it and then sliced it into chunks. At the end of this, it all gets pureed anyway, so the chunks are fine. So as you can hear, my oil is toasty. Okay, we're gonna do our onion. Okay, so that's my ginger. Got garlic. I think I'm gonna switch this that way. Alright. Some thyme and some sea salt. Okay. Health already smells fabulous now. Ooh. You want to break up all your onion pieces so that you get an equal brown. We're cooking this until it gets translucent. So that's going to take a few minutes. pieces are absolutely fantastically translucent. Some of them aren't. So I'm just going to move forward with my dish. That way I can have lunch with lunch time today. All right. So again, this is an onion, 
We've got garlic, ginger, salt, and thyme. Okay, now I'm gonna add one medium butternut squash to the mix. I've just peeled it and cubed it. Again, the size of the chunks doesn't matter because you're gonna puree all of this up here after a little while anyways. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this mixed in. Just like that. Make sure we keep all our herby, earthy goodness in the pan. Now I'm going to add about four cups of vegetable stock so that, that way we have our liquid. And now it gets a little bit quieter. <laughs> so you want your vegetable stock to come just short of your butternut squash in here. Okay. And now we're going to cook this for 20 to 30 minutes until your squash are fork tender, meaning you can touch them, you can stab them with the fork, and it falls right back off. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, so we're going to check our... So this is like a bigger chunk. So like I said, you want to be able to stab it with a fork, and it falls right off. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn off our heat. We're actually going to move this to the other side. I'm going to move this just to the other side. Okay, so now what we're going to do is this is coconut milk. This is going to give it the creamy effect whenever we put it in the blender, which I'll show you next. I'm just going to use the spatula to kind of mix this in and as you can see it kind of changes the color just a touch not bad and it's got this buttery nutty smell that just is absolutely wonderful oh, we're gonna get those last couple drops in there too I can never have too much coconut milk okay so now There we go. <laughs> I had it sealed really well. Okay, so now what we do is I have one of the ninja ninja blenders. Mm. Okay. So like I said, I've got one of the newer ninja blenders. I absolutely love this thing. It'll puree anything that you go after. So all we're gonna do is you want to do this in small batches just because of the fact that it's an extremely hot liquid. Um, it's all going into the same place, so it's not like it really matters. So what I'm going to do... Uh, yeah, that looks good. So what we'll do is we'll add a little more of the liquid just to make sure we have enough to turn it into the soup that we want. Okay. And then we're going to secure our lid down. Okay. Our first set is done. Carefully. Look how beautiful and bright fall colored that is. Oh, this is one of my favorite soups. This is one of those when you don't feel good and you crave it. Yeah, this is one of those soups. Mm. Remnants.
Okay, and then for the last time in the blender, Reach across, and we're going to unplug the blender because you don't want to leave it plugged in accidentally. Turn it on. You might scare somebody. You might chop a finger. Remember, kitchen safety is number one. And we're just going to add this one in there because this one's got the most amount of liquid to it. Look how absolutely gorgeous that is. And we're coming up on fall. You can't get any better than this soup. Now comes the fun, fabulous part. I'm going to show you guys how I plate it. Well, I guess I should say how I bowl it. some of that coconut milk left from earlier when I put it in the soup. One of the things I absolutely love to do is have a little fun with it. You know somebody who's not feeling good, they've got other things going on, they're sidetracked, they just need to pick me up, this will get them there. We're going to take our ladle. You just want to make sure you mix it up a little bit. Because again, we've we've blended it, but of course, as you pour it in, it usually gets mixed in. It's nice and piping hot. So we're gonna do two really good ladlefuls. And then just have a little bit of fun with it. You have a toothpick you can pull through that make fun spider webs you can do all different kinds of things homemade butternut squash soup well then that was fine dining made simple don't you think thanks for watching if you enjoyed what you saw today please hit the subscribe button the bell for notifications um, you can send me a message in the comments you can also request that i make a certain dish and i'm happy to Research, see what I've got in my arsenal of about three quarters of a million recipes. Um, and I'm happy to do that. I'll see y'all next time.